Assalamu alaikum. This article talks about the assessment of elegant agitation devices in simulated closed and open road canal system. This article done by Anas al Jada and Zender and their group and published in Journal of Endodontics in April 2023. The idea coming from the bacteria and endotoxin can be contained in this smear layer and in accumulated debris. Hence, to increase the efficacy of the root canal deprimement and the complex anatomies, agitating or activating the sodium hypochlorite solution with the sonic and ultrasonic equipment respectively has been recommended. And the consensus that in the root canal system with an open amex or perforation, the risk to inadvertently irrigate beyond their natural confines is increased. In addition to the anatomical situation, the delivery method of the irrigant play an obvious role in this context. The efficacy versus safety assessment become an issue. In this study, they report the development of a closed and open root canal model as seen in, in the figure one. And uh, the root canal model uh, with an isthmus and mimicking the, uh, the complex anatomy situation commonly seen in the mandibular molar. And they used the bufine dentine debris and filled the simulated isthmus of this model and the apical uh, patent uh, model and the colored gelatin uh, was used to, to simulate the apical soft tissue. So the aim of this study was to compare the four irrigation methods used to agitate the sodium hypochlorite solution regarding their cleaning efficacy in the isthmus versus their propensity to extrude hypochlorite beyond the apex. They used 72 models, half of them have closed apex and half of them have open apex. The irrigation of each sample was performed over three cycle. At each of these, 1 ml of 1.3 sodium hypochlorite was delivered to each canal using side vented 30 gauge needle. In the agitation group, the delivery of 1 ml of sodium hypochlorite to 2 mm from the apical foramen and was followed by agitation of a 20 second pair cycle using, in the first group, the plastic tip of endo activator, and the second group is the plastic tip of AD tip. And the third the group was the use of size 25 titanium alloy tip of ultrasonic device. And the fourth group, it is the conventional needle irrigations, which is the negative group, and use only 1 ml of sodium hypochlorite and was delivered 1 mm from the apical foramen with the 20 second of contact time. And the cleared area of both simulated isthmus and the pre-apical legion, both in millimeter square were analyzed. In the result, there was a statistically highly significant effect of both type of simulated root canal system, closed versus open, and the type of arrogant irritation device that was applied. The ultrasonic device reached the highest cleaning, especially in the open system, where in the closed system the effect of additive was similar to the ultrasonically driven titanium alloy tip. The ultrasonic driven tip cleaned the isthmus area significantly better in open than in a closed system. And in terms of apical extrusion of the irrigant, the additive caused by far the highest dissolution of the gelatin whereas the ultrasonic tip caused the lowest, the lowest apparent apical extrusion of irrigant, which was even lower than that caused by conventional needle irrigation. In conclusion, ultrasonic agitation of administrated sodium hypochlorite irrigant was more laterally targeted and thus safer and more effective than sonic agitation method.